back to my YouTube channel or if you haven't seen my face before then hello my name is Amy and I make lifestyle and mum related content so if you're into that kind of thing as well please feel free to subscribe it'd be lovely to have you I make like one food haul video a week basically that's my kids <laughs> I have two of them and you can usually hear one at a time talk you through our meal plan I'm going to show you the recipes where I get some of these ideas from they all come from recipe books I'm not like a mastermind chef but I will share and disclose where I get them from and yeah let me just show you what I got I went to Tesco's today decided to jazz it up a little bit just a little bit so yeah let's just get on with the video okay so starting over here I'm gonna do like sauces first because you know me I absolutely adore hot sauce and if you didn't know that now you know I love hot sauce and I've never seen this before it's called cannot pronounce it mahi mahi made in england peri peri hot red hot chili red hot chili red chili pepper garlic lemon and oregano sauce it looks pretty good all natural ingredients so yeah got this and i'm extremely happy to try this so this was one pound 50 which i actually think is quite good i've never used it so i'm gonna let you guys know what that tastes like and then i also got this it's just the nando's Perinase uh mayonnaise so yeah i always think the bottles are so strange like why is it so that you can squeeze every last bit out is that the reason why i've always found it a little bit strange anyway this was one pound so yeah happy i've got that then mm -hmm, i did that get these these are my all-time favorite dessert they're the belgian chocolate uh shoe buns they're so yummy oh my gosh they're so nice anyway so these these are delicious and i'm definitely going to be eating these later and these are one pound forty uh, and then I got some original bagels, which were 80p. Uh, and then I just got, yeah, some sponges because I was in desperate need of some. So like snacks for the kids. These are new. I've never seen these before. It said that they were new and these like melty veggie sticks. Uh, and yeah, and you get like a pack of four. So yeah, I thought that this was really, really good. And this was £2.30 and I actually got two bags just because... Um, I decided to like lay it easy on the snacks this week. We've got like Serene as well. Uh, Serene's always a really big hit. This is one pound. Um, not one pound. This is one pound 40. Then just over here, I got some, it's my partner's birthday <laughs> um, quite soon. And yeah, I got some carrot cake mix. I'm not very good at baking in general. Um, and I think part of the issue is that I'm not very good at like the mixing and the weighing up. Anyway, it just, it always ends up going wrong. So I got some country, crunchy, no, country carrot cake mix. I uh, just like the Bessie Crocker one. We had their like Victoria sponge and it was amazing. So yeah, I just thought I'd get that. And that was only two pounds. So quite happy with that. And then, yeah, I just got this massive bag of fruit muesli. Um, Little do a luxury fruit and nut, which I really like. And then this I really like as well. They do go overboard with the fruit though. So just keep that in mind if you're not too, if you don't really like all the dried fruit, but I love it. I need some like dried fruit in my muesli. So that's what's going on there. And then this was nine pounds. This was, this is the 19 crimes. Um, yeah, I think it's Sauvignon one we love red wine so got some of that as well and yeah oh and then i just picked up some like colgate for the kids um moving on to more meal planning kind of things um i got two pishwari naans because i'm gonna be making uh for dinner tomorrow i'm gonna make making a butternut squash and lentily curry tumor you know curry based soup it's it's kind of it's like half soup half curry it's really really yummy and i have made it before so but i'll show you the recipe so yeah so that's uh, that's what i'm going to be having with them and it goes like pishwari naan goes really really well with it um i oh i also picked up some of these for tom because he really really likes these just like any hot and spicy like chicken wing chicken breast or anything just whack them in the freezer and then like he's all good to go it means that if I have a night where I don't want to cook and I'm feeding the kids like baked beans on toast, which does happen every so often, he's got some of them. And then me, like I'll just have like eggs on toast or something a bit like that. I'm really not that fussy. He said these are £1.65. So they're actually, well, you get four. So I think that's quite good. Um, I'm going to make a quiche. I don't really have a specific recipe that I'm going to follow, but I will insert just one uh, for just for like a reference. Um, roasted red pepper 
in red wine vinegar. Basically, I'm going to get roasted red pepper and then some olives and then also some goat's cheese and um, some red onion sometimes. And that is what I like on my quiche. I like to make vegetarian quiches. These are one pound fifty, and these were seventy five p. The pitted black olives. Um, what else did I get? I also just got some prime cuts crumb pan. This was three pounds, just a twelve because yeah, everyone likes having it for lunch. Um, this is like this pretty self-explanatory. Um, I just like having these kind of things in the freezer. At the minute we have some fish cakes, but now we've got some breaded chunky haddock fillets because, you know, if it's a night like I just previously mentioned or the kids are like, if the kids fancy some of this, then by all means, um, here they are. Um, this was not three pounds. This was just over three pounds for me because oh, I didn't have my club card on me, so that is the reason why and then i'm going to be making my spicy chickeny peanut buttery thing because i made it last week and i love it so yeah that's what i'm going to be making with that and then i also just got some uh like four chunk four tins of tuna and you could get four tins of tuna for like three pound fifty i think so no four tins for three pound fifty so yeah got them and then these were two pound fifty the happy egg rich in vitamin d and yes just got two whole things of greek yogurt because we eat quite a lot of them um i did in fact get two blocks of these but one of them is like already in the fridge because the girls wanted cheese on toast for lunch so that's what's happening with that um and then oh i'm gonna making a fish pie uh i might have a i might have footage of that somewhere if not i'll just insert uh where i generally make it from but just a fairly simple um fish pie but i do like to put like spring onion in the when i'm making a roux i do like to put spring onion in there I, look, I got and I got this, and I made beautiful love it and this is for me Long okay time. you give it to me and we'll let it dry <clears throat> okay so i will just say that the danish blue i did buy some of this just because i was really i saw it when i was finding the goat's cheese and i thought i'd buy some as well so this was three pounds it was quite expensive I do get that and there's not really a lot there but this is basically this is for the quiche um and i i know i could have got it i could have got it like two pounds cheaper or something like that but um i did decide to get that one and this was also three pounds this is the danish blue it looks really yummy i love blue cheese so um yeah and then i just got some of this it's two pound 25 dry cure unsmoked bacon which my partner really likes and then tonight, um, I'll insert the recipe, but I was meant to be making this last week, but Tom came along, my partner, and he started eating, uh, eating one of these packets. And I was like, what are you, what are you doing? I need this, but I'm going to be making, it's like a Jamie Oliver recipe, I'll insert it now, but it's a, um, it's like a Italian baked rice. It has risotto rice, mascarpone, uh, parmesan, and salami slices that's all i know i've never eaten it before so i will let you guys know what's happening with that and then like i always do i just have like an assortment of vegetables we are planning on having the jacket potato one night hence all the tuna but this is easy and i have loads of frozen sweet corn so this is like a firm favorite we had it for dinner last night yeah british apples i just get all the fruit and vegetables on offer and i had i already had potatoes carrots uh and a couple of other things onions so all i had to get was a top up now look at how cute this is it's like a mini it's called a mini melon yeah mini water it's actually quite small it looks quite big on camera but it's not so the kids absolutely love watermelon so yeah it's got that spring onions pears british apples a tiny butternut squash which robin went and grabbed but i didn't really want to put it back for obvious reasons so we've been and got that raspberries bananas courgettes and yeah, that's basically it that is our shopping thank you so 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 much for watching this video and yeah if you liked it please uh think about subscribing and i will see you guys in the next video